Oi! It's your boy, G20, King Sarcasm. You already know what it is, man. And welcome back to NHL 20. And welcome to a brand new series. At the time of recording, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I have no fucking idea what I'm going to call this series. But what I do know what I'm going to be doing is taking control of one Frederick Anderson. Okay, and we are going to go through the entire NHL season, 2019-20 season, as Frederick Anderson, as the real life games are happening. And our challenge is going to be, can we keep up with Freddy's pace or maybe perhaps play even better than the real Frederick Anderson. Now, once this series gets underway and once we get a roster update, I will go into season mode so that the game can track our entire statistics for the season. But as of now, the rosters are jacked up, okay? EA just doesn't update the rosters quick enough, and it is wild out here, okay? Hyman is still, um, you know, not uh, scratch. He is still, you know, he's still playing. Dermot's still playing. Um, Mikhaev is not in the lineup. So, like, there's a whole bunch of things that are not right with the rosters. Tavares isn't the seat, you know? So I'm just waiting for the roster update before I throw us into season mode. But uh, rest assured, as soon as that season update is here, or roster update is here, we're going to put it into season mode. But for now, these are the closest I can get to the actual lines. I know Hyman should be playing, but he's going to take Mikhaev's spot. And as an 81, I mean, he's not exactly, um, you know, like, I, I feel like he, t he fills in for Mikhaev pretty darn well. Um, other than that, on defense, we do have Travis Dermott, though, but they don't have Sandine on the Leafs. Uh, for the roster update and I know I could fix this but the problem is it's gonna take me a little bit to fix the Leafs but then all the other teams aren't gonna be fixed so we're just gonna go with this for now and like I said put it into season mode later but for now let's take on the Ottawa Senators in game one of the regular season let's go boys at the skosh we are ready to get this thing underway against the Ottawa Senators. Craig Anderson is going to be the starting goalie for the Sens. And of course, Frederick Anderson is going to be in net for us. That is the whole premise of the series. I don't know what I'm going to do for backup games. Uh, I feel like maybe I should play the backup games. But at the same time, if I just play the Freddy games, it's going to give us a chance to have like 55, maybe 60 videos Okay, throughout the season, if I'm able to keep up with the entire season, which I plan on doing. So, it should be a pretty damn good, you know, content um, content series. It, it should give us a few videos as we get a chance right off the bat. And, uh, I mean, we've had a better start than the Leafs did. Oh, that's a big pick. Here comes Janssen. Big save by Craig Anderson. Like I said, much better start than the Leafs actually had in game one. It was atrocious. They got scored on so quick. I was just texting someone like, I don't even remember what I was saying. I was saying like, let's go. Let's get this shit going. Next thing you know, uh, it's a goal. And it's, of course, it's Kachuk that got the goal because of course it is. You know, so uh, that's uh, that was a little bit of a bad start, but it's okay because the buds were huge. They were all day by the end of the night. And part of the reason why I picked Frederick Anderson and part of the reason why I do this is because I want a, uh, a goalie series. I want a series where I get to play goalie because I do enjoy playing goaltender. It's it's different. It's a different type of gameplay, and it allows me to focus a little bit more on the commentary and what I'm saying because, I mean, there's a lot of, let's face it, there's a lot of points as a goalie in a hockey game where you're not even playing that much as uh, as that was terrifying. But there, there are points where you're not even playing that much. But... I don't really want to do be a pro because uh, for some reason I am absolute hot trash at be a pro at goalie this this year. I just can't fucking do it. Give me that big save. Nice glove right there from Freddie Anderson. But yeah, I just can't play with be a pro for some reason. I maybe I'm just not good enough yet. You know, I, I feel like I'm decent normally. I was good last year, but I can't do it with a low rated character. So it's very frustrating. So right now, okay, until I get more used to how the goalie system works, this is what we're going to be doing for our goalie series. And, uh, okay, I thought we were killing penalty for a second, but we were not. Let's go butterfly to make sure that it doesn't slide through. And uh, I'd love it if my team could actually clear the fucking zone, though. That'd be great, because that was awful. The puck was literally sitting right there in front of me. My defense didn't seem too interested in making, uh, clearing the puck for your boy. Okay, so that's not good. That was not great. And a nice save right there again. Let's go. That's the new animations, man. That is a chest save that bounces into the slot. 
in NHL 19, but them, them new animations, man, they allow you to just scoop up rebounds and just, just absorb the puck a lot better. So I do like that aspect of the game. And of course, that was made. Okay. Cool. We're going to allow a goal. I was actually a little bit out of position, so I'm not even mad at it. It's going to be Borowiecki because, of course, it is. Or Bor Borowiecki, whatever. Y'all already know who it is. Uh, that guy with the long name uh, on the Ottawa Senators. So, still, just like game one, we are going to allow the first goal, just like the real game one. And we are down against the Ottawa Senators. But, um, it's fine. It's fine. Like I said, I was out of position a little bit. And, I mean, I haven't played a whole lot of goalies so far. So, let's just, uh, let's just allow me some early season... Uh, adjustment period, okay? Allow me that and we're gonna be okay. Right now the goat is out here just losing the puck in the corners. The guy is like six foot four, six foot five, whatever it is, and he cannot keep a puck on his stick in the corners to save his life. So whatever, I mean it is what it is. Uh, Freddie Goche though, he did have a goal in the first game. He did. That was a nice freaking truculent ass goal too as that one is stopped by Craig Anderson. It was a great goal. We just drove hard to the net and got flattened, put on his ass, and he still came out and just whacked at the puck and found a way to put it in, man. That's what you want from your your grindy type players, you know? Here comes Cappy, the opposite of grindy type player. All speed speeds it across the ice, and that is a huge tap in. What a goal. Austin Matthews with a very, very easy tap in, courtesy of Gasperi Captain. You love to see it. It is tied one to one. They also need to update Matthews' facial hair game because he's rocking the disgusting mustache in real life. But speaking of Austin Matthews, man, um, like I said, I don't know what to call this series, so it's not like set in stone, right? Like the title is not set in stone, so maybe we turn this from a Freddy challenge to a Leaves challenge and we get to play different positions throughout the season. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe once in a while we get to play defense or we get to play center because like in the first game, Austin Matthews had a hell of a game, a hell of a game, man. Two goals. You know, he played pretty good. Um, on the plays where he didn't score, obviously. He had a wicked one-timer, which is nice to see. He's been working on that, you can tell. So maybe when, when things like that happen and one player has a good performance, maybe we can take control of them instead. I don't know. I'm just throwing out that. What is going on with Freddy? Why am I sliding all the way? <laughs> okay. I don't know, though. That's going to be really up to you guys, but... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm aiming to be mostly goalie oriented, all right? Just, if we're gonna go and play out, it's gonna be a very, very rare occasion as I get sniped on! Oh my goodness! I felt like I should have stopped that one. I'm not gonna lie, maybe it's because I went butterfly, but Chris Tierney is gonna absolutely snipe it. You know, I go back to the post, it goes to Tierney, I challenge the shot, I feel like I should have stopped that. I feel like that's a save, but you know, sometimes the computer, they got that laser shot and that one was off the post. That's a great shot by Chris Tierney and we are down two to one. But we're still on pace though, because I mean, the Sens got two goals in the last game, or in game one in real life. So maybe we can actually still win five two, which was the actual score in uh, in real life. So that's still an option, but uh, I feel like uh, your boy is gonna allow another goal out here because uh, we are still very early in the game. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be breaking the 900 save percentage barrier here um, in the first game of this series, which is not great. Like I said, I'm struggling at goalie here this year. I don't know why, but I am. And we're going to have to kill a 5-on-3, which is going to make things even more difficult. Kasperi Kapanen is taking the face off on the 5-on-3. Very interesting strategy right there, Mike. That is, um, okay. It's cool, though. A little bit of challenge ain't never hurt nobody. We're going to... Okay, nice kill. Nice kill by the boys. They can't... They haven't gotten a shot yet, and it's been a few seconds, so I love it. And uh, Tavares was named captain last night, too, so that was pretty cool, man. The player intro was great. The uh, and the only thing I didn't like about last night was, first of all, the horrid start. You can't just get... Have a great ceremony, have the crowd into it, and get scored on, like... 20 seconds in that's just trash but um the other thing i didn't like was scratching jason spezza that's just that's just awful i that's just come on the guys just i wouldn't we all know why that sucks and it just does and i am really not okay with it but whatever man whatever it is what it is oh my god they had 12 shots in the first period now i allowed two which if i'm being honest i should have only allowed one Okay, if I want to be a decent goaltender out here, I should have only allowed one on 12, but uh, it's fine. 
it's fine. We still got a chance to come out with a better second period. And that is what I intend on doing as we get a nice turnover and break it up the ice immediately. Here comes Andreas Janssen. He is huge. Toe Dragon. He is still in control of the puck. No, he's not. But yeah, Tavares being the captain, that's pretty good, man. I I'm okay with it. I, I like it. There wasn't a bad decision here with uh, Tavares or Morgan Riley. I wanted Mo to be, you know, if I'm keeping a beam, keep, keeping it a stack, I really wanted Mo to be the captain. But hey, like I said, Matt, uh, Tavares, not a bad choice for captain at all. So I'm okay with it. He's nice and, you know, he's a veteran player. He's serious. He never gets too high or too low. So you, you like to see it. Of course, it's a factor that Tavares has signed for a number of years here as captain and snipes it. Oh my god, Kasperi Kapanen, whose flow is in mid-season form, by the way, in real life, but he has two points already in game one of the regular season. You love to see it. Good stuff. Drop it back at the point. Speaking of the point, oh my goodness, Tyson Berry. What a game he had. He he had the dangles going, he had the mitts going, the spin moves, the passing ability. It was just a great all-around game for Tyson Berry. Didn't really do anything like outlandishly stupid either. Like I didn't think he made a glaring mistake, unless I'm just like forgetting about it, but nothing stood out to me where I'm like, yo, I gotta talk about this, that was awful. You know, there's there was none of that. So good stuff. I'm glad to see Barry. Oh my goodness, Trevor Moore! Shout out! To whoever rocks number 42 because that is also my jersey number and he's going to fucking snipe it from the point almost well that's more like the highest slot area but still off the post and in craig anderson not a whole lot of chance to stop that and it's 3-2 it was 2-1 and we got momentum and now it's 3-2 kind of similar to what happened on that video review goal from ron hainsey damn bro i saw hainsey get a goal and i was like man that's trash. Like, come on. Of course Ron Hainsey scores against Toronto his first game back. I tweeted. I was like, fuck off. Ron Hainsey scores. It was a snipe, too. Like, he got the puck. He had some room. Stepped into it and fucking sniped it. It was a nice goal. But unfortunately, it was a few inches offside. And a few inches, ooh, is all you gotta be, man. Inches do count. Just ask your girl. She'll tell you. But, yeah. It's, uh, it is what it is. And people called it lucky. That's not lucky, man. That's the video coach making a good call, and that's going to be a delayed penalty. We're going to see the very first power play opportunity for my Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's go, man. As a goaltender, you love to see on the power play. You should, should get a second to breathe, and uh, if you don't, it's probably going to be a breakaway. So that's the, <laughs> that's the one thing that is a little bit frightening about killing penalties. I'm going to play the puck here. Uh, I do play the puck a little bit more than Freddy actually does, and uh, unfortunately I failed miserably right there, so maybe I shouldn't play the puck, because that was awful. <laughs> that was just really bad. Um, the power plays might be off, because I just realized now that I didn't take the time. Clappers from the point. Is that Freddy Gauthier on the power play? Is that what I just witnessed? Oh my god, it is! <laughs> yeah, so the power plays are definitely all fucked up. I forgot to edit those, but whatever. You don't turn it over, please. Thank you. Thank you. We've had we've had experiences with those turnovers in the in the past. Let's not do it. Tavares with a shot. And he's stopped cold. It's gonna be a good season, man. It's gonna be a good season. And I feel like they you know, getting off to a good start is key and winning against a team that you absolutely should beat. You know, Toronto should always be in great position to win a hockey game against the Ottawa Senators. You know, hockey does happen, so, like, you, you can't be mad if they lose a game or whatever, but it's, you know, you should be in position to win a game against the Ottawa Senators every single time. That's a bad turnover right there. That is just not good. Let's see here. Here come the Sens the other way. We're going to see what can happen here, and thank goodness we have some good defense. We're right back the other way. Here we go with shot, and that's going to be stopped by Craig Anderson. Let's go out and challenge the shot because there's no real pass, and uh, there you go. Ended up not even being a shot because we challenged it. Boom. That's how you do it. That's how you fucking do it, boys. And here we go back the other way. Toronto passing it. Morgan Riley with a nice wrist shot. Okay, he's walking in with a nice uh, snipe opportunity. Didn't snipe it, but I'm okay with it. Still um, still a good chance from our, our defenseman that it didn't cost us to go up 
and play. Oh my goodness. I'm getting a little bit of delay on the right stick too. I don't know. They might have tweaked something with the right stick for goaltenders because I don't typically use it, but sometimes to get back in position, I do use it. And uh, I just feel like there's a little bit of delay with what I'm doing with that stick so far. And a nice blocker save right there. So you guys let me know if you're if there's any t tendies watching this game. Let me know if you're also having that issue as Kerfoot. Alexander Kerfoot tries to go far pad. But a great save and good rebound control by Craig Anderson prevents that goal, man. Good stuff, though. Look at Cappy go. He's Oh, nice pass. One-timer blocked by the Sens. Big rip. Man, that would have been a disgusting play. Kapanen's having a night right now. He's only at 82 in this game, which, I don't know, I feel like... Nah, 82's decent. It's decent for Cappy, I guess. Look at that. Only four shots for the Sens in the second period. That is good. That is a much better second period for the buds, okay? We had a... <laughs> man... The game be realistic sometimes, man. We struggle in the first as the Maple Leafs, but the second period is ours, and that's exactly what happened. Holy smokes. Oh, what a deke! Yanni, oh my goodness, right to Mitch, and he scores 4-2 to Toronto. Yikes. Look at that. I did not expect that from Andreas Janssen, but apparently the man has absolutely disgusting dangles. You would expect that, like... To, to be opposite, you know, Mitch to Janssen. But no, absolutely not. Janssen is out here making things happen. And man, the fast wingers are out here, man. Both just rocket ships, Kapanen and Janssen, are making it happen nice and early. You love to see it, man. He's got passing ability, skating ability. He had an ankle breaker, goddammit. Okay, nice glove save. Fuck out of here, boy. I'm Freddie Anderson. I, I came off the post a little bit too much for that save, not gonna lie. But you know what? I'm still Frederick Anderson, okay? Danish God. Can Do I cover that? No, not really. I'm gonna let... Uh, man, I'm really having trouble with this right stick movement this year. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just retarded. Maybe I'm stupid. I didn't have this much trouble. Like, you guys... You guys have been here for a while. By the way, if you're new, subscribe here, please. So uh, you get to see more of this. But you guys have been here for a while. You know I'm, I don't struggle that much with, like, movement after a shot or an opportunity. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Maybe I should hold R2 a little bit more once I start moving. Nice snipe. Let's go. And now we have the actual score from real life here. 5-2 against the Ottawa Senators. Zach Hyman with a clapper. Or not a clapper, but a snipe. Okay, right off the post. He's going to take a Mikhaev spot on the roster for now. Unle uh, until we get the roster updates, you know? So there you go. Mikhaev also had an okay game. I feel like he... You... Personally, I feel like you could tell that it was a step up for him, like from preseason hockey to actual hockey. You could tell, but still, I didn't. I didn't think he had a bad game at all. We are out here into the middle of the ice. They go turn around, Yeats. I am all here to stop that big guy. I am here. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. We're having a pretty decent game here. First, uh, first game of the season with Freddie Anderson. I don't think I'm going to hit 900 save percentage because it feels like my team is playing some solid defense. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to have 20 shots against, but, you know, it's it's still, we're having a pretty decent season, or a pretty decent game to open the season, rather. And by the way, uh, I'm playing on five-minute periods because I feel like six-minute periods would be a little bit too long. And uh, four-minute periods would obviously not give me that many shots, okay? And I want to have... I don't want to have games where I'm like, yo, here's the video where I make four saves, you know? I'm trying to get a decent amount of shots, and yeah, I'm going to end up allowing goals, but, like, whatever. It is what it is. I see a lot of people, um, <laughs> some of my friends, too, they're like, yo, I crank in, I'm cranking up the, the, um, the minutes per period so that I get more shots so that my save percentage is higher because if I don't get a, little, a lot of shots and I allow one goal, then my save percentage is garbage, but that's just not how percentage works. I don't know why people do that. Um, percentage is the percentage of uh, saves that you make. <laughs> okay, percentage of stops versus goals. So it doesn't matter if you have a 20 minute period or a two minute period. If you're an 800 goalie, you're still gonna be an 800 goalie. That's that's just how it is. It's, <laughs> it doesn't change anything. So yeah, I'm just having um, five minute periods for video length 
and like I said, to get a good amount of saves and actual gameplay in the video. So that is why we are doing that. 5-2 here, the actual score. I really don't want to allow a goal because I'd love for my first episode to be you know, 90% accurate. The goal scores aren't accurate, but I'd love it if the score was accurate on our very first episode, and we are within a minute of being able to achieve that here. We're gonna stop, drop, and oh my goodness, we are having trouble, but we still have the puck, which is okay by me in the last minute. As long as we control the puck, there is a high, okay, a higher likelihood of me actually pulling this off. We'll see here. We'll see what happens. Oh, nice play. Nice play. Ottawa's getting desperate here, probably. Trying to create something. They're probably very aggressive uh, with the strategies. Let's not be too aggressive myself. Those slappers try to go cross-snipe on me. Not going to work. Not going to work today, sir. Let's see what he does. They're probably looking for a one-timer here or something along those lines. A cross-ice pass, cross-crease pass. I'm going to try my best not to let it happen. Up to the high slot and a nice save. Positional hockey right there from your boy as Frederick Anderson. Four seconds left and it looks like the score will be accurate for game one. That is incredible. I, I was hoping that would happen, but I did not obviously plan on it. <laughs> that is huge. That is absolutely huge. Obviously, it's not going to be the same shot totals, and my save percentage is going to be lower. But we take a 5-2 win against the Ottawa Senators on the very first episode of the Frederick Anderson Challenge, or whatever the fuck I end up calling this. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I feel like we have played okay. I feel like I made some decent saves. Um, definitely could have stopped one of those two goals and had a better save percentage, but hey, what are you going to do? It was still a pretty good game for your boy. Kasperi Kapanen takes home the first star, and we allow two goals on 24 shots, so we did end up with a 900 save percentage. So that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I'm okay with it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please hook your boy up and punch the like button in the face, spend the hell out of a comment, and subscribe. I'm G20, man. As always, I love you guys, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.